Hello everyone and welcome to a new 3D art core tutorial and this time it will be a very short one. Um, as you already know, uh, read the title, uh, we will learn how to create um, our custom shelf. So these are the shelves in Maya and to be honest, um, I'm I'm usually using those shelves as they are. I want I want create any of my own custom uh, shelf uh, but uh, if most of you are using like uh, Photoshop or any other of those app you know that even there you have the same options and also in Maya you got the same opportunity to create your own custom shelf or your own like like in Photoshop you would like to create your own custom brush sets or anything sizes um, so it's it's good to have your own custom it just really helps to, to speed up your work uh, instead of making you like going search for your own uh, different sets of, um, of options so uh, how we do it uh, first of all I already create a uh, Roman shelf and I can get rid of it um, just by coming to this little arrow and click delete but same way is how we are creating the shelf you can come over here click new shelf and give it a name Roman okay and here it is the shelf is here now you can um, you can like uh, decide where you want this uh, shelf to be if it's if you would like to bring it over here you can go over the arrow and choose shelf editor and then you can just choose the Roman shelf and bring it up okay so above all the others and that way you're you see you are moving him this shelf uh, over this side so moving it so um, Besides that, uh, if you want to add your own custom options over here, uh, it's very simple. You just need to hold down Control and Shift, go over whatever option you like, like in the mesh, combine, booleans, any other feature, create polygons primitive, if it's sphere or cube, like if I mainly use cylinder, cube and sphere, so and plan, so I just need all those four. So you can hold down the control shift at the same time and click at the same time on sphere. And it will wait just one two seconds and you can see it appears here. So from now on if I would like to create my sphere, I just need to click here and the sphere will be created. Um, also the nice thing about this that if you would like to um, create your own custom sphere you also have the opportunity to choose also like instead of the sphere the little box here okay if you click on this little box here and at the same time when you're holding control and shift you can add this to your shelf now just wait and you see now you have two different uh, well they're basically look the same so this is the only thing that is uh, just a bit confusing but uh, these are two are two different options. This is the create a polygon sphere on the grid, and this is the polygon sphere options. So if I will click on this, first I will get this box. I will need to choose how many axis division, and then click create. So that will create a new unique sphere, not as this one. Okay. So basically, the the best tip I can give you is always to if you always need uh, like to have those two here so make sure that the the create itself is over the left and the options for it will be in the right this way you will remember that uh, which one is who and this is it um, you can add many 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 other features that you commonly use and create your own shelf um, that will save you lots of time um, like for instance I'm using a lot this tab over here edit mesh 
uh, I have like the merge, merge to center, uh, merge vertex tool and all other little stuff, bevel, offset edge loop, uh, insert edge loop. Those are like very, very important features that I'm commonly use and I would like to have them all at the same uh, shelf so that will that way I will um, also like have some uh, reducing my time of searching for them around uh, beside beside that you can uh, also learn uh, how they look that way okay so if you are not familiar with those and you know you can put your mouse cursor over this one and if you wait just a second it will tell you uh, with a pop-up a little uh, note menu that this is the extrude so you know that this is the extrude now and this is probably one of the common familiar features you see, you know you already know but there are plenty of those here like you probably don't know that this is the merge one okay and this is the chamfer point okay so basically there is some logic uh, while you are looking at those icons but you need to find the logic and no one expecting you like understand it no one is born with it knowledge uh, it's just some common logic that comes with those little icons here and that's good to just get familiar with them um, mostly I'm using the spacebar you see there is the spacebar here and this is like the HUD uh, interface which you can use in order to do almost anything that up here in those menus uh, just to uh, use this thing to um, help you to navigate to those features and some of the it's very on your own like it's very your own decision you need to see what fits you but the flexibility of this this is what really matters that you have few other options to navigate to those features and that way learn what is the best that fits for your own needs um, also I think that I mostly use uh, control and shift uh, for most of the uh, modeling process uh, it really helps me a lot to uh, reduce the time of searching my the, the, the options that I'm, I need uh, like if I will hold down control and right click um, I will get different menu you see there's the edge ring utilities edge ring and split and which I really use commonly and if I will hold down shift and right click so I have the insert loop and all the other uh, things like split and interactive split or merge so these are uh, also an option you need to consider while you're working with Maya because um, there is very much different on the how how comfortable to people to people to work uh, um, I can't really explain what is it uh, that make people work like they work but um, from what I experience uh, it really depends on uh, how did you start to work uh, in Maya and if you always it's always like uh, remember issues like um, you it's much more uh, easier for you to remember that they are here so you will probably that will be the first choice for you to come over here but the truth is that it's always uh, about practicing practicing to use the other shortcuts and try to reduce the times that you are using those okay so again depends on your own needs your own uh, convenient and I hope that this one helps you. Uh, by the way, if you don't want the shelf you created, which is here, you can just come over here, delete shelf, and get rid of it. So that's fine. And that's it for now, people. I hope that that helped. And have a nice day. See you with the new tutorials whenever I have time and whenever I will have any other uh, 
interesting uh, info to deliver to you. So, see ya.